She gon' get it with our ass. Hey, say the Lori Bates. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by that title, we are gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use to do my makeup and how I do my makeup. So if you're new to this channel, hey girl, hey, welcome to Sadie's Lorraine's channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button and get notified whenever you girl wants to do a video, okay? So we're gonna head right into this video, y'all. Let's get right into it. So first I go in with my primer to just kind of um, smooth out my face a little bit. I'm gonna give you guys some light. Fix my camera up a little bit. Um, I was trying to see if I should do a um, tell a story, but I don't think I want to tell a story because I'm gonna start to tell. So y'all know vlogmas is coming up, and I wanted to start doing my vlogmas, which is I will be starting doing my vlogmas next week. So starting that, I'm gonna be doing a little shopping, and I'm gonna take guys along with me. We're gonna be doing a little decorative in the crib, you know. So and so you know how that goes, girls. So um next I love to do my eyebrows first just because they are a little bushy because the baby they ain't get done yet. But oh yeah, we gonna do what we do. So I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and pencil, which is in the shade black. Um I have to find my sharpener so I can sharpen it really quick. But yes, yeah, so I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that. Vlogmas is around the corner. I want to know. Actually, no. I want to know who's ready for Vlogmas, actually, because I'm ready for Vlogmas. I'm so ready to decorate. I cannot find my um, sharpener, so, girl, we're going to do what we do, okay? But I'm super duper 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 excited for Vlogmas because I always wanted to do Vlogmas. And, baby, it is time. Like, ah, I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to be doing some decorative around, um, my house, um, me and my girlfriend. If you guys did not know, I do have a girlfriend, um, I don't know if y'all going to be staying on camera real soon. That's if she wants to be, but real soon, real soon. Y'all going to get the real details, but other than that y'all gonna see me decorate and change some things around and get ready for vlogmas i'm super excited because i got some tricks on my sleeve i actually wanted to do a sleepover but my family is so far so i don't know i'll probably just do one with me and my baby me and my girlfriend look y'all already getting the tea already far as my girlfriend but i'm super excited and i'm super ready so i go in with my eyebrows and that's how i do my eyebrows yeah they're a little messy but we gonna we gonna we gonna fix it we're gonna get right into it okay so bear with me and then i take my what's this my eyebrow pencil um i don't know who it's from but yeah whatever i'm gonna go in with this brown pencil and i'm just going to shave these pieces in up in the top so just they can kind of fall in naturally and kind of look natural as possible in the front i don't want too too much and then i'm gonna take the back pencil and i'm just gonna kind of shade those in a little bit to my liking and you guys put me on to some good good makeup y'all i know fenty is a good makeup some good make has some good makeup products and i'm super excited and i want to try but i need help <laughs> like i love doing my makeup but i don't have the right products and i need all the pencils so i need all the details on all the the good products the good pencils teals everything girl like i need everything so yes that's what we're getting into then i'm going to kind of go in with my other pencil if i can find it i'm going in with i don't know i don't know it don't even really have the name on here but it says best best up i'm going with my best up pencil because it's i don't know i really like this pencil how it kind of just line up my eyebrows for me them small pencils far as like um let me show you guys really quick what my other pencils are looking like. As far as this one, 
it's super super little and I can't get my line my lining how I will how I actually like it to be because it's just too small so I kind of like to use this one and I kind of mix mix my shadings with my foundation and you guys I really really need y'all help with these foundations because I don't know is this I got some LA girl pro coverage HD high definition long wear eliminating foundation um it's really not my shade i noticed that so i kind of do what it do and i kind of blend in my um powder makeup my uh darker shade powder makeup and i blend it in with my foundation and then i just do it like that just so i can get into my like and into my coloring but as you guys should know i should already be trying to get some freaking new makeup so it's coming it's coming just bear with me but we're gonna get right back into this video so yes i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this sorry girl gotta get some more but i'm gonna go in with this a little bit a little bit on my hand and then i use my pressed powder pressed powder shade in um dark skin girl and i use this yes i gotta get some new girl but i just take my pencil and i just dab a little bit on there just to get my liking i really don't do too much but I need this in like a darker shade. So, and then I just go in on the brow and I just sculpt it just like that. How I like. I don't do too much and I don't like my eyebrows too, too thick. So, I just go in with a little bit just like that. And then I kind of get it and kind of go up a little more to kind of get that line as straightened as possible y'all so that's how i do that um go in with the other one other side and we're gonna do the same thing go up on there go up on there just like that not too much but just to my liking as you guys can see it's shaded like my skin color shaded um, I do the best that I can as far as trying to blend this and do all the other stuff. But the girls that get it is the girls that get it. And I know y'all get it. So, I ain't even got to say too much, girl. So, after that, I'm going to kind of take a piece of napkin. And I'm going to wipe this off because I need this brush again to go back in a little bit with my concealer. And I'm going with NK Makeup Perfection Multi-Use Concealer Super Coverage. And I love, love, love this concealer. Even though it's not my uh, texture for my eyebrow. But I like to use it at the end just so I can have a little bit of lightness at the end of my eyebrow. So it can kind of blend in. You guys going to see how that um, turns out. But yes, I love this foundation. And I cannot wait to get some new stuff. I'm super excited. I really, 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 really want new stuff. So I'm just going to go to kind of go in look girl i'm stuttering i don't even know what i'm saying but i'm kind of gonna go in and make sure that line is super duper straight and kind of blend that down so they can have that good arch baby yes i need that arch and for you guys that don't know i'm not a makeup artist but i love 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 doing my makeup it just makes me feel like a bad bad bitch I'm sorry, but I had to say it, and it's for the girls that get it, but you know, I just love doing my makeup, so gonna kind of shade that in a little bit, and as you guys can kind of tell, it's going exactly, exactly how I want it, so boom, we're gonna give this a little cut off arch because that line is too long, boom, just like that, and then I'm gonna go in and do the other side. Just so it can match. I'm a, I do dots going down just so I can know where I'm kind of want my line to straighten that. So I'm kind of going to go in again like the other side. And I'm going to line this right on up like my other side. Put some more on there a little bit. Get it to my liking. 
like I said, that line don't need a big of a line at the end of like that. But yes, straighten that up and boom, it's giving how I want. Let me go back in because this side is looking a little bulky. And I don't like that, but boom, you get it, you get it. So boom, and then I end up with that. I take my paper towel again, and I repeat the same process over, but this time going above my eyebrows, how I get it to my liking again. I just put a little bit of my LA Pro con Concealer on, and then I use a little bit of my Dark Skin Girl Press Powder. And I dab that on there like that. And I do what it do. And it works for me. You know, you guys can do whatever you guys feel like works best for you. But I just do what works best for me right now. Until I get the full details on the good products for the makeup. Other than that, comment down, comment down below. And please comment down below and tell me all the good products to use especially for makeup because i'm into makeup really really bad it's giving real bad okay what creature said it's giving real bad so i just go at the top i don't go all the way up over just because i don't like i like my shading to be a little bit to my liking and then i just fold that right on down i wanted to get it as not too thick, but to my liking as possible. Like that. Boom. And then I go in a little bit. And I go back down with it. Just like that. Boom. And it's giving how I wanted to give. Let me turn you guys around. Boom. Just like that. That's how I do it. And I go in again and I repeat the same process over with the other side. But yes, you guys. Who is excited for Christmas, though? Like, I can't stop talking about it because I'm super, super, super excited. Plus, I'm super ready to do, like, gifts and stuff. Get girl ready to do gifts. I'm super excited for the gifts. But, yes, I do the same process over to my liking. I don't go all the way over just yet until I get that good line crease right on in there and i just go right on down right on down just like that boom good crease line boom then i go in and i go like that boom far as that i kind of take my brush a little bit i'm gonna use my other brush i'm gonna use my eyebrow pencil like this and i kind of shade this in but it's not quite working out for me, so I'm kind of going to take this brown shade a little bit. See how this one is falling into place, but it's kind of looking a little darker than the other side. But other than that, we're going to work with it. Promise you it's going to be how I want it. Like I said in the beginning, how y'all do it is how y'all do it, but this is how I do it, just to kind of get my perspective on how I want mine then I'm going to take my eco eco brush angled crease brush and I kind of like to blend this this the kind of brush I like to kind of blend everything in and kind of get it to how I like it just far as the top as well just like that and as you guys can see look at that it's giving me the same crease that I want the same crease that I want just like that boom take that and i just blend blend that right on in not too much not too less take my pencil and i go on up on up boom boom i'm kind of gonna go in again with my black pencil with this pencil and i'm kind of gonna fix my crease up here because i can tell that my crease is kind of like off a little bit and then I'm going to do that line just like that. Boom. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my angled brush again. And I'm going to dab in with my Pro Concealer just a little bit. Just to even this out. This bad baby out. Just like this. And I'm kind of going to go in. 
and I'm kind of gonna angle that right on in just like that boom to my liking and mind you I don't like the the long cut just cuz so I kind of take that off you see see boom it's giving what it's supposed to give okay boom take my angled brush again and kind of blend that out I'm kind of going to go back in with a little bit, just a little tad bit of concealer. But this time I'm going to use this little angle brush. And this one is my, I kind of cannot see, but yes, this is my detail brush. So I'm kind of going to go back in with my detail brush. And I'm going to crease this line a bit. Just because I want it even as possible, okay? Like, even as possible. As you can see, I went back in with that a little bit. Boom, my liking. Take a little bit of my concealer. On this side, how I like a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Bring this up. How I like it. Boom. And there we go. It's giving what I love it to give. Take my angle brush again and go in and just press that bad baby right on in. Right on in. Boom. All right. Then I'm going to go in with my HD Concealer Foundation. And it's by Kisses. And I'm just going to go in to just hide up a little few dark spots that I kind of can tell, can see a little bit. As you guys can see, I do have a little bit of dark spots. Oh, and I would love to start doing a skin care routine. I just, I'm so big on my skin that I really be scared to put it just any, anything and everything on my skin because my skin is super sensitive and I just need the right stuff, like the right stuff. So, if you guys know the right things, please comment down below and please inform me. Because, baby, I know we don't play by our skins now. Us girls, we don't play when it comes to the skin. So, I'm just going in and dabbing up a little bit. And I like to get the corners of my nose just so I can have that. Boom. Going in a little bit like that. And then I just go in with my finger and just dab it right on in, press it right on in real good, nice and good, and hide up them spots that I covered up a little bit. It's not too, too much of a bad spot because I'm really working on my skin, but y'all, mm -mm. I can't just put any and everything on my skin because I don't play on my skin at all and i love my face because it's precious so and i take pride in it so i really need some good skincare routines and good skin products so put your girl on put your girl on. okay go in just like that and i leave it just like that as you can see i kind of hit up some of the dark spots as you can see boom baby boom now, I'm going to go in with my foundation. Like I said, I miss my foundation because I know my uh, LA Pro, uh, Pro foundation is just not my face color. So, I kind of use this along with my um, brown skin um, uh, press powder. And I just kind of do the same thing and I kind of repeat the same thing. But this time, I just put it on a little bit. On, just a little bit on. Then I go in with my, guys, I really don't know what this thing is, with my Glow, Glow De Glow uh, Liquid Makeup Hints. Um, it's supposed to be all natural, but it's not my skin color, so we gonna just do what it do. Put a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there, not too much there. Boom. Then I'll go in with my brush, and I'm using my um, Expert Face Brush, RT200, and I'm just going to take my brown skin uh, press powder, dab it just a little bit, and I'm just going to kind of go in with it, just so I can get it to my liking, and as you guys can see, 
is doing wonderful and it's my skin color boom just like that and i repeat this same step over not too not too much just because i don't want it to be super super cakey i just want it to blend in with my skin you see good just like that and i repeat the same steps over and over boom and we're just gonna keep rubbing this in until i get it so if you are new welcome babes like what are you doing if you're not subscribed to me then what are you doing what are you nothing i bet you're not doing nothing so hit that subscribe button sweets thank you and I'm just kind of going to press this right on out to my liking. All up across my forehead. Boom. I don't try to get too much of my edges because I already know. So, boom. Take that right on like that. And as you guys can see, it's my shade. Boom. This is how we kind of cut it right now. So, boom. Then I like to take my concealer to do my eye set a little bit. Up here. A little bit, not too much. And then I go in with my concealer right here, right here, right here, and close right here. Like I said, I don't want to do it too, too light of my liking, but I do enough to where it fits just for me. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. I spray it a little bit with my rose water hydrating mist. Air it out. Make sure it's all aired out. And I just go right on in. Right on in with that, blend that right on in, just like that. Boom. Make sure you press it real, real good. But yes, ooh, I need some good lip combos as well because your girl love the lip combos. Like, fat, it's giving, okay? And it's gonna give every time. Every time it's gonna hit, every time I'm telling you, them lip combos, baby. I'll be on it. I really want to try the brown one, and I really need to get a brown lip pencil just because I do have a brown lip pencil. I don't like how it's shading my lips a little bit, I feel like it's a little bit too light. I wanted it a little bit dark, darker to my liking, just a little. Then we're gonna take this, my beauty blender, and go right on across the forehead a little bit, just like that. Then we're gonna go match the eyes up, take it around the corner, and just gonna dab that right on in. Boom. Just like that. Not too much, not too less. To my liking. Boom. Then I take my contour palette, cause just because I like to go in with a little bit of shades. And I'm going to use my um let me see. I'm going to use one of the brushes that I have. I currently don't know the name of it right now, but we're going to use it. It's a blush brush anyways. Um, I'm going to use my contour, and then I'm going to go in with um, my sculpture. Just because it's a little light, and I want to get that full effect around here. So I take this, and I go in. I know I need to get some more. And your girl, I love this palette. We're going to go in with this right here i take a little bit of this right here just a little bit and i go in on my sides just so i could blend that that concealer in real real nice go in like that and we're gonna do the other side same thing on the other side so we won't look too too you know cake that boom just like the boom Gonna take it in the same spots, same spots. Boom. 
I only like to get the angles of my eyes a little bit and my cheeks just because I know I'm going to go in with my contour and I'm going to darken that spot up. So I'm not really worried about that part. Then I'm going to go in with my tiny brush here and I'm going in with my ancient shade brush in my eco tool. And it looks just like this. And then I'm going to go back into my contour palette and I'm going to take my dark contour right here. And I'm kind of going to go in like this. Boom. Just so I can get that dark shade around my nose. So it won't look, look too, too light. Boom. Then I'm going to go just like that. Just like that. It's not too much, not too less. Boom. Boom. Then I'm going to go back in with my angled crease brush again. And I'm just kind of going to crease that bad baby out. Just like that. Because I don't want it to do too much. You feel me? Because I already know it's not my skin color. So I do the best. And it turns out bomb all the time. Then what I'm going to go in with again is I like to start off with my eyes. Just because I want to get it out the way. So I kind of go in with one of my pencils, which is my Avon pencil. Um, I don't know the shade of it, but my Avon pencil, always a hit. And I kind of take my Tropical Vibes um, eyeshadow palette from Magic Collections. And I kind of take this brown palette right here, this brown shade right here, and I kind of go over I crease just like that not too much not too less but yes kind of do that I'll over and I do that on both sides boom this eye boom just like that so Comment some more videos you guys would like to see me do also. I got a couple videos that I want to put out just because I know that I need to be consistent and I haven't been posting in a while so I really needed to do this video just because I wanted to and I have seen y'all do the makeup so let me do it. I want to do my makeup so why not? Boom. Then I kind of like to blend it out just because I don't want it caked up too, too much. So what I do is I'll go back in with my angled crease brush and I'll kind of shade this out. Just because it's I don't want it to be too, too dark around, around here. Boom. And I kind of crease that out. Boom. Just like that. Boom. Then, this is how the eyes are looking. Then, I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kisses um, color liner. And it's in the shade black. Um, this is my Ruby Kisses color liner in the shade black. And I love, love, love doing my um, angles with this brush. Always a hit. So, I take this. Go over. Boom. Feel that right on in to my liking. Shake it a little bit. And this is how we're going to do it. boom just like that just like that boom and it's given every time and we're gonna do the same thing to this eye boom just like that repeat the same steps 
boom and that's how i do my liner period and then i'm going to go in with my eyeshadow um it's rk by kiss again um i say eyeshadow i'm sorry y'all uh, i'm going in with my mascara actually by uh rk by kiss and i'm just kind of give these little bad babies a feather a little bit boom just because when i put my lashes on i already want my um eye my real eyelashes to kind of stick up with them so it kind of doesn't look too too Bam. Okay. Boom. My eyelashes is so long that it's in my eye. But. Boom. Get the corners of it. Boom. And that's how I do that. And then I'm going to go in. Now I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kisses No More Blemish Press Powder. Just to blend in my um size a little bit i like to just do a little bit not too much because it's already light just a little bit boom just like that then i'm going to take my blush brush just because no you know what i'm not going to use my blush brush i'm going to use my powder brush and i'm kind of gonna powder that in just like that just so i can have that line see boom Blush this in really, really nice. Really, really nice. Boom. Then I'm going to take my Perfection Finishing Powder. I like to go in with this just before I do my contour on my cheekbones and all around. Just because I don't like... It's, it's too light, as you can see. And I don't want to use too, too much. So I just put enough on there to my liking. So... That's what we're gonna do today. Um, I think I found my dirt, so I'm going to use my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Eco Tools brush again, large eyeshadow brush. I like to use this for my powder just because it gets in the um corner of my eye, give it a little blow, then I like to press that on in the corner. Just like that, boom. Not too much again, cause it's already light. Take some in the middle, boom. Boom. And this is how we're gonna do it. Boom. Just like that. And I'm gonna show you guys how I um end up shading my, um, What's the name in to get it to my liking once again? I don't like to put too, too much. Just a little bit. Boom. Just like that. Then I'm going to go in with my highlight brush right here. I use this to put on my contour, my darker contour, just to rub um, on my contour. So we're going to take this brush and we're going to go right in with the contour right in make sure you get cheekbones i like to get up here just because i don't like um the uh lightness a little bit that's how i even out my makeup and then take the bottom boom all around and this is how i do it get around my um headline here just a little bit you can see i just darken them little spots up and we're gonna do the same thing on this side Take our contour and blend that bad baby in. Boom. Do the same thing under here. Just because I know I um, highlighted some spots under there. I don't want to put too much under there. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Then I'm going to go back in with my powder brush. And I'm just going to powder this out. Just because I don't like the um, lining crease in it. Boom. Boom. I'm going to dab a little bit more of my powder on this side. 
boom. Okay. Take my, I'm taking my 1400 RT uh, blush brush and I'm just gonna kind of powder that out just so it won't be too cakey. I like to lighten it a little bit to my liking. Boom. And as you guys know, as I'm stepping back, you can kind of see what I'm talking about because as I'm closer, it's kind of reflecting that way because my light is super, super bright, which is I love. But as I'm stepping back, it's giving what I love it to give. Boom. I'm going to go back in a little bit with my um, contour. And I kind of like to get up in here just so I can have that extra space outwards. Not too light, as I was mentioning, just because... I know I'm dark skin and I want to kind of go over that. Boom. Just like that. That's exactly how I do it. That's exactly how I get it to my liking. Boom. Everything is in line. Everything is in place. It's like that. Make sure my lines are awesome. Boom. Now I'm going in to finish this um lightning. I'm going to take my, uh, go back in with my Eco Tools brush and the large eyeshadow. And I'm just kind of going to pat this um, in a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Boom. To my liking. Then I'm going to go in, back in with my... Um, eyebrow pencil in the black shade, and I'm going to do my lip just like this. Mm, always a hit, baby. I'm going to do my lashes really, really quick just because I want to get it over with before I start to do go black in and do um, the finishing touches with the blushing and everything. So I kind of like to take my lashes and do them and get that out the way so they can already be dried and everything. I'm just going to take this off. I want to act crazy. And I am using my minks. My mink lashes, y'all, I stay using these because I love them so, so much. I'm not into the big, big uh, mink lashes, the huge ones, but I love the fluffy ones because they fit me so well. So, so well. And they fall in so, so well, which I love. And it's always giving. So, this is what we looking like. Boom. You see. You see. You see. It's not much, but you see. And it's giving. So, yes. I am doing Vlogmas next week. And I'm taking you guys along with me. So, I'm super excited for that. I'm going to give this a little blow. I have to remember where I um, put my extend. Because I like to kind of extend it a little bit. And fold. I like to fold them just so they can look as full as possible. Stick it right on in there. Boom. Not too much of a stick, but you get it. Hold. I like to hold them on there just so I can get it to my liking. The best liking there is for me. And that's how I do that. And as you can see, as I step back, you're gonna, yes, yes, honey, yes. Don't play, don't play. And I'm gonna go in with the other one. We're gonna do the same thing, okay? Now, I'm supposed to be ordering some new lashes because I definitely need some more. Cause these has came a long way and they've been holding on, they've been holding on. For their life for me which i love and they is good to reuse just like all other um mink lashes are good to reuse so i reuse them because i wash them and i reuse them but technically you don't have to uh constantly wash them because you don't want it to get super super thin you want it to keep that fluff in inside of the lash so i make sure i don't wash them super super much but 
you can also wash them kind of give it that blow so it can kind of dry a little bit okay and so i'm putting it on and then i'm gonna go back in with this bad baby and we're gonna do the same thing flip it right on down make sure them corner points are good right on down with it right on down with it boom I don't know why my lash is like acting crazy, but it's okay. Because only the real girls that gave it, the real girls that gave it, okay? I don't like to put too, too much, so. But I'm going to take some of this off. I'm going to blow it some more. I'm going to go in with my, um, with my tool, and I'm kind of going to string it how i want to i don't know how you guys pronounce it but i'm gonna go back in with it i like to kind of blow it a little bit so it can stay how i want it to stay boom like to do too too much with it just because this lash is acting super crazy but we're gonna get it we're gonna get it okay boom boom and that's how i do that kind of fluff it out a little bit Take my hand and I pinch it just a tad bit. Make sure my end piece is on there real nice and good. And that's how I do that. So, as you guys can see, I'm going to kind of go in and fluff that up a little bit. Just because I don't like how it's leaning. So, I'm going to take some tweezers that I have. And I'm kind of going to just pinch it. Just because I want that to sit down boom just like that i don't want to put it up too too much but i'm gonna do it to my liking boom just like that i'm gonna kind of go back in with my ruby kisses um color liner which is in the shade black and i'm kind of gonna give this a good black shade again boom so it all can fall in line just like that just like that then i like to take my black liner and go under my eyebrows and kind of shade those in just like that boom this part is super super duper look already but boom only the real girls that get it okay but as i step back you guys can see what it's giving already side view side view boom and then i'm gonna go back in with my mascara and give my long lashes at the bottom some texture okay i love doing this just because them baby hairs at the bottom of the at the eyes baby don't play with them. They definitely come in handy. And I don't even have to add um, lashes at the bottom. But I definitely want to try those one day. Oops. And it's giving. Okay. Boom. Boom. I'm going to take my uh, tweezers again and I'm going to go in and just pinch this lash down a little bit. Boom. Boom. 
And that's how we're going to do that. I'm going to go back in with my brush. Kind of brush my face out. Just like that. I'm going to go in with my powder brush. And I'm kind of going to go under the eyes with this. Just to kind of pat that up a little bit. My nose. Turn and around my mouth. Boom. Then I like to go back in and I like to take my Ruby Kisses um, color liner and I like to do a little beauty mark just on the corner, maybe right there too. Boom. Always good. Always a hit. Okay? Can never go wrong. Then I'm going in with my favorite LA Colors High Shine She Butter Lip Gloss in the shade Pink. Always a hit and it always come through. Boom. The last finished touch. I don't want to cut too, too much. Just like that. Mm. And I go in just like that. And this is the finished product, guys. Get into the face. Get into the face. Oh, we forgot the highlight. Y'all so let me forget the highlight. Can't forget the highlight. Okay, I'm going in with my unisex top uh color color. And these are all my highlights. I want the gold one. I think I'm gonna try the gold one. I'm kinda gonna go in with my uh deluxe crease brush. Uh deluxe crease blush brush. Blush brush. And I'm gonna use this kind of gold shade right here. And I'm just kind of Go in just like that. Just like that. Boom. Dab it a little bit. Dab that in a little bit. Boom. Boom. See it? You see it. Cheeks. Cheeks. Then I'm going to go in with my blush brush and kind of dab that blush right on in there. Boom. Boom. And that is it, guys. This is the finished look of my makeup tutorial. This is what I do to my makeup, and this is my liking. So, super cute. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching Sadie's Lorraine. This is my makeup tutorial. And if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell and get notified whenever you go post a new video. Thank you for watching me and watching my makeup tutorial. If you guys do um, know some good products to use, make sure you comment down below and give your girl some tips. I would love to see some tips that you guys use. Always a win, win, win. You know what I'm saying? I'm always here to support the girls and what they give me, especially the advice, because it, it can go both ways. So, that is the end of the video, and thank you for watching.